A case of urgency. A minor injury or a seemingly harmless infection can turn into a life-threatening situation. Sepsis. The major problem, sepsis is often recognized or diagnosed too late. Every three seconds, someone somewhere in the world dies from sepsis. In Germany alone, more than 60,000 people die from sepsis each year, more than 300,000 in the United States, and more than 8 million worldwide each year. Most people don't realize sepsis is one of the 10 most common causes of death. Sepsis occurs when bacteria, viruses, or fungi enter the bloodstream and proliferate. The human immune system reacts in a concerted effort against these pathogens, culminating in a body-wide inflammatory response. But this can easily spiral out of control and turn deadly. Driven by the cytokine storm, uncontrolled inflammation can kill cells and damage vital organs. This often leads to multiple organ failure, causing nearly half of all deaths in intensive care, for which no specific therapies exist. This is why scientists and physicians are desperately looking for new therapeutic options. Cytosorb is a powerful, innovative immunotherapy designed to control deadly inflammation and prevent or treat organ failure. Cytosorb cartridges contain special beads that act like tiny sponges to capture cytokines and other toxins that drive inflammation. The goal is to control inflammation, redirect the immune response, and stabilize the patient. Cytosorb has helped doctors regain control of their patients. Because Cytosorb can be easily connected to standard dialysis and heart-lung machines found in the hospital, personnel and equipment costs are minimal. Also, Cytosorb can be applied very quickly. This is critical here because every minute counts. During the first Cytosorb users meeting in Leipzig, Germany, dozens of key opinion leaders from major university and public hospitals throughout Germany, Austria, and the United States met to intensively discuss their experiences with Cytosorb therapy. Professor Traeger, head of the ICU in the Department of Cardiac Anesthesiology at the University Hospital of Ulm, Germany, uses the Cytosorb therapy routinely in cardiac surgery patients that develop unmanageable complications or severe sepsis postoperatively. I especially think the therapy is benefiting our sickest critical care patients. These are patients where we stand by the bedside and feel helpless after having exhausted all treatment options and are still not in control of the patient. We have simply been in need of another tool. Our experiences have shown that we now have such a tool at hand that can help us to change the course of the disease for the better and to stabilize the patients. This is an important point for us. Even during major cardiac surgery operations, the use of Cytosorb can be used intraoperatively to help better stabilize patients and prevent post-operative complications. Frank Born, Chief Perfusionist at the University Hospital of Munich, Germany. I can already imagine that this therapy will become established as a standard of care in cardiac surgery and repeat cardiac surgical procedures in the next few years. Beyond that, I can well imagine that the cytosorb filter will be integrated into a transportable heart-lung machine to treat patients with cardiogenic shock, or those undergoing heart-lung resuscitation, or patients who are already on a portable heart-lung machine. In addition to the treatment of sepsis patients, Professor Krenn and his team at the Medical University of Vienna, Austria, have observed additional benefits of cytosorb therapy in patients suffering from heavily increased myoglobin levels due to muscle breakdown. Through this therapy, we can possibly prevent kidney failure or incipient acute kidney injury and avoid hemodialysis by specifically removing high levels of myoglobin so that ultimately it can no longer harm the renal tubuli. Stabilization of the patient and improved hemodynamics with cytosorb treatment was a common comment amongst participants at the user's meeting. Another frequent comment was that the treatment was safe, without issues, and was technically simple to implement. With this meeting, we want to create a platform. Our aim is to encourage communication to exchange experiences and to initiate new projects. This is truly a milestone on the road to more insights. 
A state-of-the-art international cytosaur registry is currently being developed at the University of Jena, one of the world's leading institutions for sepsis research, under the direction of Professor Bronkhorst in cooperation with cytosorbents. Science tells us what we can do, guidelines what we should do, and registries what we are actually doing. The Cytosorb Registry follows the highest international quality standards and, with other formal scientific studies, will help establish the Cytosorb therapy. The company, Cytosorbents, is the world's first medical technology company that, at such an early stage of product introduction, is building a patient registry that satisfies even FDA standards. I think uh, Cytosorb has so many different potential possibilities in terms of treatment. It really is one of the newest and probably most powerful immunotherapies for the treatment of critical care medicine, as well as high-risk surgery. So we just heard a smattering of some of the ideas that are out there and some of the ways that it's being used today. Uh, and it just represents really the tip of the iceberg, I believe, in terms of uh, where Cytosorb can play in the treatment of human disease. This is just the beginning, and so uh, I, I'm really excited about what lies ahead.